Hi guys, today we're gonna go ahead and take a look at Resurrection Remix ROM running on my Galaxy S9. You can also install an S9 Plus. Let's go ahead and take a look, baby. Hi guys, so I've got Resurrection Remix ROM running on my Galaxy S9. You can also install this on the S9 Plus. You'll need to obviously have an Exynos model of the Galaxy S9 or S9 Plus, which has unlocked bootloaders. I know some of you are gonna still ask me, Hey Max, can I install this on my SMG 960U? No. Very, very nice ROM. This is actually the best uh, AOSP ROM, non touchwiz ROM, non Samsung ROM, that runs nearly flawless out of the box. Your fingerprint works. Flawless. Ready? One, two, three. All right. I'm also setting up the fingerprint. You can take advantage of the swipe. All right. So let me actually show you that, which is really cool. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and swipe. Look at that. So two swipes and boom, you're done. Just like regular Galaxy S9. All right. Which is really nice. Even though this is a AOSP ROM, you're not gonna get any Samsung features, no Samsung anything. This is a pure Android Google-like uh, OS that you're gonna get on your Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus. Everything loads really, really fast. I'm really surprised. Uh, RAM management is much, much better. Very, very fast. I would say it's much, much faster than stock, as you can see. Um, I've had zero problems with it um, in terms of how fast this is. Benchmark scores, I got 260,000. Not too different uh, from stock, which is about the same. Battery life is excellent. Battery life just goes forever and ever and ever. Now there's enough customizations in here that's gonna make you feel great. Uh, first of all, you, you got uh, uh, all rotation for the launcher, which is really nice. Uh, you can swap it out like a Pixel Launcher or Nova Launcher if you want. Of course, you don't get edge panels, but you do have options for other shortcuts. Uh, you can get this app circle bar. Uh, which you can go ahead and put your favorite apps and jump straight there, which is really nice also. If you want to, let's say, go to gallery, uh, maybe learn Spanish on Duolingo. All right, so that's very nice. You don't have edge screen, but you could use some other features. Now this is running the latest Android 8.1.0 Oreo. Now for installing this ROM, you wanna be on the latest uh, build for whatever it is. I didn't actually check it, I just installed it and it works out of the box. But if you don't do that, um, your camera might not work correctly. As for a camera, of course you're not gonna get Samsung camera. Um, you're gonna be able to get the regular camera the AOSB camera, which works quite fine actually, just the way it is, all right, which is nice. Now, you can go ahead and install the Google HDR Plus camera. I haven't been able to get the portrait mode version work, but the regular HDR uh, uh, Plus works really good. So you will actually get better photos than Samsung camera, which is nice. Here's some nice photos I took with the HDR. Very good HDR effects, as you can see. Um, so I don't think you'll have problems with camera. Now you are going to lose your iris scan because AOSP ROMs don't support it, but you can go ahead and use face unlock and smart lock. I right, everything working out of the box, 4G LTE calls, uh, Bluetooth, all that basic stuff working out of the box. Galaxy S9 and S9 Plus is actually the first Galaxy to have pretty much nearly flawless support for AOSP ROMs. So that is really nice. Um, all the basic functionality is gonna work. The only thing that's really not gonna work is anything that requires Samsung TouchWiz or all the Samsung apps, all right? In terms of roots, you will not be able to root using the regular method. You'll have to use a modified version of Magisk, all right, um, that the developer provides. But once you install that, your root will work flawless and safety net will pass. You can go ahead and hide root from apps that check for root, such as Pokemon Go. Um, in terms of customization, of course, this has got all the resurrection standard customization you'll be able to find under settings configurations, right? You're gonna be able to customize your status bar, clock, network traffic, notification bar, uh, all of this stuff. You could see I've done some of that here and you will notice uh, my clock is centered. I have a like a custom icon of piece of crap. You can go ahead and customize to your liking. You're gonna be able to customize every single part of your ROM. Uh, I'm not gonna show you all of this. You can go ahead and play with it. You can go ahead and change the LCD. You can go ahead and um, change the behavior of your notifications under heads up there. You can even try to save some battery life by turning off 
half of your pixels. Very interesting, actually. You, you do save some uh, battery life. Lock screen options. You can get uh, weather on your lock screen, just like the latest Android P beta, which actually added that feature, but we've had it on custom ROMs like this for a while. Uh, customize all your buttons. All right, navigation buttons. You can even change the height of the navigation. You see that down here? You can change the width, right? If you want to just leave a little bit of room. Um, a lot of fun ways. Animations, you can customize uh, the you can customize it the way you like. You can add uh, custom gestures. Gesture anywhere is sort of nice. If you turn this on, um, you can go ahead and set this to the right edge or left edge, for example. Let's say I want to add the gesture for an application. Let's say I want to go I want to go to Google Maps for G. Go ahead and write G. Hit done. So now what happens is if I touch the edge, I can go ahead and type G and it'll go straight to Gmail. All right, this can be sort of handy if you're doing one-handed. If you're driving, you're just like, all right, put G. Boom shakalaka, go to your Google Maps, all right? Um, add as many shortcuts you want. So it's a fun way to customize. If you want a uh, app circle bar, this is something I was showing you earlier. You can go ahead and change the trigger width here, all right, position everything. And what you can do here is Go like that, and you're gonna be able to access all your favorite apps. I really like that, app circle bar. You can go ahead and choose the apps in here, which is very nice. That's really nice, and also you do have a basic Pi controls that you can use, and now you'll have home, recents, or back button. Uh, let's say you wanna use your phone one-handed and you wanna go home, you can do that. Of course, you can also install third-party Pi launchers, which is I recommend, that way you have custom shortcuts, which is really nice. So as you can see, there's some fun things you can mess with, all right? But Resurrection Remix has been around for a long, long time. One of the best ROMs you can install, especially now that Lineage OS ROM is very, you know, nearly flawless for this phone. Resurrection Remix is simply based off that. And yeah, it's a very nice ROM, very long battery life, most important thing. Uh, everything working out of the box. This is actually the best build I've seen on the Galaxy. Because a lot of the older Galaxies, like, you know, let's say like the the like the S7, they'll have some bugs like Bluetooth bug or weird bugs like that. This is going to be very, very interesting. So definitely check it out. Installation is pretty easy if you're already rooted with Torp Recovery installed. If you're not rooted already, if you're not rooted yet, you just have to simply install Torp Recovery. Now, with the S9 and S9 Plus, there's this thing called OEM Unlock Jail, which means you're not going to be able to install Torp Recovery until you wait seven days after you get your phone. Another thing you might want to worry about is while installing this ROM, while trying to get OEM Unlock on, you may have to do a factory reset and you may have to wait an additional seven days. All right. So the best scenario, just root your phone as soon as possible. I install Torp Recovery. That way you want to install this ROM. You just boot into Torp Recovery. Install ROM, G apps, reboot, that's pretty much it. Pretty straightforward. I do have full instructions, step-by-step -step guide, but my first suggestion to you, if, if you wanna install this ROM, go ahead and root your S9 or S9 Plus, because that's probably the hardest step. Once you have done that, once you have Torp Recovery, you're ready to go. All right, I'll have full instructions on how to install this ROM, but yeah, very, very solid. I was really surprised how fast this ring ran, uh, especially battery life is actually way better than Samsung. Uh, performance is way better than Samsung TouchWiz, no lag whatsoever. If you don't care about the Samsung stuff, but you just wanna run pure Google Android, this is definitely the way to do it. And do let me know what you think, but I think you guys will love it. Uh, again, this is available for Galaxy S9, S9 Plus. If you have an Exynos model, uh, any of the international Korean models will work. And thank you guys for watching this video. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up. If you want to see more videos like this, definitely subscribe. Make sure notifications bell is on so you get notifications. The new high on Android t-shirts are available. Very high quality. You're going to love it. I'll put the link in the description if you're interested. Have a great day. And as always, stay whole on Android. Click here to subscribe.